I'm going to teach you how to measure your pressure and your flow using this test kit. Hi, my name is Clint Adams and today I'm here at WaterPro doing a flow versus pressure test on our garden tap. This is a kit that we have available here at WaterPro and our clients use it to determine the flow and the pressure that they have available before we start looking at their irrigation requirements. Step one, we need to mount the pressure versus flow kit to the water source that we will be using. It's really important to use the water source that's going to be closest to the area that you're irrigating so you have the most accurate flow. The kit I have here today has multiple parts. This yellow hose is more likely to be used on a commercial site when someone might need to go into a valve box to get access to the water. Today, we will just be using this because we're coming straight off the tap. So the kit comes with various fittings that you can use uh, in any situation. Today, I'll be mounting a 20 by 25 mil bush to the garden tap. You'll see there's a bit of thread tape on the tap. That doesn't matter. If it leaks slightly, we're not too concerned. We're just using this for testing purposes. Now, the test kit has this barrel union on it, which means we can fit the test kit through that thread without actually having to physically turn the whole test kit. So it'll be interesting to see how tight this goes. I do have some multi-grips available and you might need to use them if uh, you do find that there's some small leaks or maybe you don't have the hand strength to tighten that up tightly. So currently I have water flowing freely. Okay. As you can see, I now have the pressure versus flow test kit mounted to the tap. This gauge here is a pressure gauge which measures uh, water pressure, what well, will measure any pressure, from zero to 1600 kilopascals. It's very unlikely that anything we're doing here in South Australia is going to get past that 1600. And then below this is a digital flow meter. This will measure the flow in liters per minute as it passes through. Traditionally, when we do uh, pressure versus flow tests, we might fill up a bucket and time how long it takes. This takes the guesswork out. So the first measurement that we're going to take is the static pressure. That's the pressure that it's currently under with no flow. When the ball valve is off, this is under pressure and it's called static pressure. As we open up that ball valve, we'll start measuring what is called dynamic pressure and that's the pressure on this gauge as water flows through here. Now, when you're dealing with an irrigation shop, they're going to ask you to maybe bring in two or three different uh, water flows. One will be completely open, one will be at a certain pressure, say 200 kPa, and one may be at 400 kPa or 300 kPa. The shop can use that information to, in, to calculate the water pressure versus flow, and then they can use that when they design your irrigation system. All right, so I'm gonna open this up all the way up now and probably wet Dylan. So we can see here, we've got about 70, 69 to 70 liters a minute coming through and I'm getting very wet. Now I'll turn the pressure down, turn the gap, sorry, turn the ball valve down. So that's one, two, three, four, so we're at 300 kPa now and we're getting 38 liters a minute. And all you do is adjust this ball valve, which will adjust how much pressure. So if we turn it off more, we go up to 350 kPa, we're getting 24.9 liters a minute. We might open it up to go back to 200 kPa and we're getting 51.3 liters a minute. Record all of that information, bring it into the irrigation shop and the team will use that information to design your irrigation system. If you've got any questions about this or anything else that we do here at WaterPro, please do not hesitate to get in touch. We are here to help.